bells of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Troll the ancient Yuletide carol. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carissa. I do different videos range from home, lifestyle, and motherhood. So if you like that kind of content, then definitely consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. For today, I am filming the long, long, very long awaited Christmas home tour. This is what you guys have been waiting for all year. I had a really great response on the one I did last year. So for this year, I'm hoping I get the same love from you guys. I hope you all enjoy it. I had so much fun creating. I'm going to call this year's a blush Christmas. You saw little elements of that from last year that I did in my living room, but I didn't have the budget to do the entire house. So this year, I focused on purchasing new items for my dining room. And then next year, we'll be adding new things to the kitchen and things like that. So adding to my collection a little by little. I hope you will all enjoy it. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you do, and I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye. Alright guys, diving right into my dining room. This is where I'm going to be starting off for this year. This is where I kind of added some new decor. If you watched last year's Christmas home tour, you would have seen that it was more like the reds and the golds because that was decorations that I previously had. But for this year, I wanted to start over and have it coincide with the living room of some blushes and neutrals. So I picked up a few new items. I couldn't find the perfect centerpiece, so I just actually DIY'd this, something very simple that you guys can do. And then I like to place just the bases of my china when I actually have guests over I do the full place settings with the napkins and all of the silverware and things like that and then for the credenza you guys will see I just have a couple of pieces to add with the whole theme I'd like to keep it pretty simple because I do use this space to have beverages different types of platters and trays to serve food when I do have my guests over Here I'm just getting a zoom in shot of my centerpiece. As with all of my home tours, I like to zoom in on different types of things and options just so you guys can see a little more in detail of the items that I am specifically loving that I added into the decor for this year. I wasn't honestly going to be decorating for this year because with the home renovations of the new house, it was just going to be a bit too much. So I did end up deciding to do it since our move got pushed back another month. As with any of you have that have done like home renovations, I'm sure you know that things don't exactly stick to the timelines that they're supposed to. So I figured uh, why not go ahead and decorate with it since you guys seem to really enjoy last year's Christmas home tour. I wanted to be able to give you something for this year as well. And please let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see for next year because I would love to get some ideas and already start getting those creative juices flowing and snag some great deals during the after Christmas sales. And I recently picked up this candle, which is crushed candy cane. It smells absolutely divine. I picked it up during the Bath and Body Works um, candle sale. So I got it for only $8.95. And of course, because it was the blush packaging, I had to get it.
centerpiece is actually another thing that I decided to do myself if you watched my living room clean and decorate with me. I couldn't find something that I really liked, so I just took a wreath, added some ornaments and candles of my own to make it my own special touch. And then I'm going to, of course, as you guys were seeing, giving you an overview of the entire living room. I showed you guys my entryway table. I like to switch it up all the time for different types of holidays or themes. Not sure what I'm going to do in the new house because I'm actually going to be selling this one that I have here. The whole mirrored look, I think I'm going to move away from for the new house and maybe look for something more in like a warm wood color similar to my coffee table and now on the opposite side of the room is my favorite place of the living room because it is the gorgeous fireplace I loved decorating this every year I have the most fun decorating it it's just such a cozy warm space and I really hope I can recreate something at least similar when we move into the new house since it does not have a fireplace yet but we're looking to kind of create either a mantle space or something since I do love decorating this area and then I'm going to show you guys my tree which I absolutely love how it came out this year the total blush Christmas vibe that I was going for came out perfectly on this flock of tree. And then one of my favorite items on the mantle are actually these reindeer snow globes that I've picked up last year. If you watched the same thing that decorate with me, you would have seen one of them it did come crashing down and break out a total of four. So now I am down to just three. I will still be on the hunt for a fourth one. But I was just really sad because these, as you saw, I showed you what they looked like without shaking them up and having the snow rotating through. And then, of course, how gorgeous it looks with the snow. Now onto my kitchen. I kept with something pretty simple this year. Last year, you know, I went all out on a hot cocoa station. So I just did like a condensed version of this. Like I said, guys, with the whole renovations of the new house, I just didn't have the time to go all that crazy. So I wanted to stick with something pretty simple. And the Mrs. Myers Grove Collaborative, I still have the link down in my description because they have tons of holiday scents still available. And if you're not into the holiday scents, you can definitely also still get a free gift with that link below. Um, same reason also why I didn't go too crazy in the kitchen, which I kind of never do. It's just not my ideal kitchen. I feel like it has kind of a lot going on with the busy backsplash and things like that. So once we move and I'm having a more neutral palette, then I feel like I can go a little more fancy and put a lot more decor in the kitchen for any type of holiday or season. Mm -hmm. Finally, I just added some tree picks to my kitchen vase. I hope you all enjoyed watching my Christmas home tour for 2018. I would love to hear your feedback on knowing what was your favorite portion of today's video, and I'll talk to you all in my next one. Bye.